Hey everyone, I hope that everyone had a very happy Thanksgiving. It hasn't happened yet, but probably by the time I put this video up, it will have already passed. So I'm going to show you guys just a couple of things that I got from my winter haul. Sorry, I'm fixing my chain. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Sorry. Make sure I get that together first. But yeah, just a couple of things that I got. Some accessories, some shoes, some sweaters and stuff. Just some stuff that I've just been collecting over the past couple of months that I wanted to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll go ahead and start with the accessories and stuff first and then move on to the clothing. And I'll try to go by it as quickly as possible. I will link whatever items I can find in the description box below if you guys see anything that you like. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First items that I got... <laughs> They're too far for me to reach. I got this cute mug. It's just a holiday mug that I got from Dollar Tree. My family loves hot chocolate and we also love coffee. Well, I know me and my eldest sister, older sister, older sister, me and my eldest, eldest, <laughs> me and my eldest sister love coffee. So we like to put them in cute little mugs, especially when we're at home. We're the cozy homebody types. So saw these at Dollar Tree and went ahead and got several of these on our dining table just to add to the ambiance of fall and winter time. I also got this mug. This mug came from Charming Charlie and they also had one in a gray plaid but I went ahead and just got the one in red because I thought it was cuter. This mug was, oh sorry, this um, winter mug was a dollar at Dollar Tree and this Charming Charlie mug was eight dollars so I got this one and it's the only one that I got because I I just wanted to feel special and have my own personal mug so I got this mug from Charming Charlie another accessory item that I got oh yeah you guys saw this already but I got this purse from TJ Maxx and I already if you want to see all the nooks and crannies and details about it you can look at my what's in my bag video but yeah, I got this purse for the winter. I was looking for a brown fall winter bag and I saw this one. It was about $30. So I went ahead and got this from TJ Maxx a couple of weeks ago. I also got... What else did I get? Oh yeah. So I needed something else to put my camera in. I already had the one in black, but they have this one in... I guess this would be olive. I'm guessing. But it's a nice book bag by Steve Madden and I also use it um for like when I go to school and stuff but or when I'm traveling not necessarily when I go to school because I go to school online but when I go to do my school work like if I go to my sister's house or something and I don't feel like carrying my purse I will carry this bag it's really nice I also got for accessories I can't remember why I got this hat it was actually a gift I think I had to I think I made a deal with somebody. <laughs> um, I love the show Supernatural. I've loved it ever since it first came out way back in like, oh lord, when did it come out? Like 2005, 2004, something like that. Whenever they started, I got hooked on it. So this hat just has like the angel wings on it. People keep asking me if it's a mustache. It's not a mustache, it's angel wings. It's Castiel's wings actually to be more precise. But um, it says Supernatural, join the hut on the back. And there was another one that said, it was a black one that said, um, what was it called? It was like the, I can't remember what it said, but it was something like saving people, hunting things, the family business. It was just like a big line that Dean used on the show that if anybody knows Supernatural and they hear that line, they know what I'm talking about. So I didn't end up getting that hat, but um, I got this one which is actually my favorite because it's very cozy and it's very thickly knitting. Thick, it's a thick knit <laughs> material. I also got for hats, um, I got this beanie from Hollister off season. I think I got it in the summer and I can't remember what it was retail. Did I leave the tag in here? No. But I can't remember what it was retail but I ended up paying like I want to say it was five dollars probably less than five dollars for this hat and I love wearing hats during the fall and the winter so um, and I love the 
the Merlot color is such a rich color this time of year. It's very popular and it's trending right now. So I ended up getting this hat from Hollister. I also got from Hollister, what else did I get from them? Oh yeah, jumping ahead, I actually got, I got another sweatshirt. I don't know where my other, I have another Hollister sweatshirt somewhere. But I got this men's jacket from Hollister. And if you're going to buy Hollister, it needs to have Hollister in big letters, I think, because their stuff is really high. But I think I only paid um, $16 for this. And then it was a Hollister pullover that I got in black. It was $10, I think. So I got that from Hollister. Today, when I went to Hollister, if we're going to segue into clothes really quickly. I got this shirt, for example. It's just a tunic top. So you guys can see just a nice tunic top that I got from there. I also got the same one in gray. So this is what it looks like. Retail. I got it. This one I got in a large because I was skeptical about whether or not it would fit me even though it's stretchy knit material. Retail this shirt was $49.95 and I paid, how much did I pay for you? For the gray one, I paid $5. So this one was $5. The white one was $4.99. And then I also got a black one. And the black one ended up being $3. I don't know how that worked out, but I got all three for like, $13 or something which is great because I was in Forever 21 today too and I was like maybe I should get a sweater so they had a sweater in there they had a white sweater for $12 but I ended up getting three shirts for like $13 tax included so I'm glad that I waited and just went inside Hollister because you never know with them they usually have good deals especially around Black Friday time because y'all I'm not going to well, I'm going to go, but I'm not going to be one of those people that's like elbowing their way to get Christmas gifts. That's just ridiculous to me. So I'm going to Black Friday, but I'm not going. So I went early so that I wouldn't have to deal with that craziness on Friday. I had to work on Friday anyway. So if anything, I'll go Thursday night and just get all the stuff that. I like that people don't really care for like movies nobody's gonna be going Black Friday for movies so for me I'm just gonna go Black Friday to get movies but I digress <laughs> another thing that I got where did I get this from oh Aeropostale Aeropostale is another place that I went to and I just got just a cuz I like wearing baggy clothes sometimes you know it's cozy weather so I got this I don't even know what you'd call this. I guess this would be like a pullover. But I got this men's pullover from Aeropostale. I think it was $10. It was just something for me to lounge around in. So I ended up getting that. I also got from them this Bethany. What's her last name? Bethany. I can't remember her last name, you guys. But her name's Bethany. Mota, maybe? I can't remember. I know she's big on YouTube, but I ended up getting this shirt as well from there. It looks kind of big on camera, but it's really stretchy, which is odd. It, I can't really show it. I probably have to like try it on for you guys for you guys to see. But I got this shirt. I think this shirt was, I want to say it was $12. Pretty sure it was $12. I also got this really long sweater coat thingy I don't really know what it's called but it's really pretty on it's so comfortable like if I don't want to wear something as heavy as a coat and I still need to be warm I'll usually throw on this especially when I'm at work so I got those from forever 21 I just got a bunch of camis to wear under my clothes because I believe in layering so I got one in this color I got one in a pink and a purple I got one in a dark purple I got one in a red I got one in a yellow gold type color 
what else did I get? A black, a blue, a white, just for layering purposes because I don't usually like to... I really, I'm not really a fan of long sleeves all the time, so just having a cami and like a jacket or, well mostly a jacket on top, I'm usually okay. This is really cold outside and I just don't go outside. I also got from Charlotte Russe, well I got one item from Ross and it's this cute little... I don't even really necessarily call it tribal knit because these don't look like tribal figurines to me but just a nice pattern sweater it's really cute on and I love wearing these with like a pair of jeans because it's really comfortable and still cute so I got this from no I didn't get it from Ross I got it from Burlington that's where I got it because I got my shoes from there too so I got this shirt from Burlington and from Charlotte Russe, I got my really nice shirt. Another person, I wore this in a video one day, and someone asked me where I got it from, and I got it from Charlotte Russe. And if you want to see me with it on, just look on my, I think it was my I Love, it wasn't my I Love Fall Tag. What video did I wear this shirt? Huh. I can't remember, but I got this shirt from Charlotte Russe, and... It's just really cute on. I wish I got it in a smaller size, but this was the only one that they had, so I went ahead and got it in extra large. It still fits good, so it's not too bad. And I think I only paid, I think I only paid five dollars for it too, so that was a steal. And I really like this part because it's so sensual, so I love that. I also got from Charlotte Russe this really nice vest, and I think I got this in an extra large as well. I did. Yeah, I got it in an extra large, so I have this really nice vest, so if I don't feel like wearing a coat or a sweater, I'll just wear long sleeves in my vest, or sometimes I might even just wear short sleeves in a vest, depending on how I feel, but I love this. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have pockets. It's the only thing, but it's really comfortable, it's really cozy, it's faux fur, it's not real, and I just love the material on it too, because it's also... Um, expandable not really expandable but it's stretchy at the bottom as well so if you have a slim waist it's very figure flattering and if you got a little curves it covers that up too you know you might have like a lunch baby when I at dinner and you need to cover it up this will do the trick so I love that finally what I got from other stores well no actually I think the rest of the stuff I got got I got from I think the rest of the stuff that I got, I got from Burlington, pretty sure. Yeah, okay, so, and they're mostly shoes. I can never have enough boots in the fall, so I got this pair in black. They're just normal, not really state-of-the-art, just like generic boots. They were, I think they were $19.99. Pretty sure they were $19.99. So I got these, and I also got the same ones in... Taupe, I guess this would be this color. So, whoop. So, I got this pair in taupe. And these were also $19.99. What size did I get them in? If you want to know the, the brand, they're called Rampage. And I got these in a size 10. Just so um, when it gets cold and I need to layer up, I will have that. With these shoes so I got these two and I also got these dupes for Timberlands I guess I got these at Burlington as well and I got these in a size 10 as well these the brand that made these were called um, spirit I don't know but they're really cute with this sweater and a pair of jeans or even a white shirt and a pair of dark jeans these are my go-to shoes and it's very funny because when I wear these around my granddad he's like are you working construction no but thank you <laughs> so yeah I got these boots from Burlington 
I think that's everything. So this concludes my winter haul video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you see anything that you like, feel free to comment in the box below. Hope everybody has a very happy Thanksgiving. Christmas is right around the corner. If you guys see anything you like, give me a thumbs up. And also feel free to comment in the box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.